We get to see our friends. We get to see our friends, Kelsey and Powerick. Yes, we do. That's you, my sweet a uh, baby. My sweet a uh, baby. Uh, boo, 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 boo. Sharpie in my mouth, a sharpie in my mouth. Everybody, everybody, sharpie in my mouth. Oh my, oh my gosh! Hello! Look, Marianne, it's Joven. Hi, baby. Oh, Marianne, you are beautiful. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Look, Joven, who's that? Who's that? Is that a baby? Look at that hair. You got some catching up to do, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you so much for doing this. This is so wonderful. How are you all? How are you, Marianne? <laughs> she was giggling before. I. The thing that makes her laugh the most is my hair in a bun. And yeah. I she just, yeah, they love it, don't they? I know. I love that our babies get to meet, finally. Yeah. It's so good. Um, well, obviously anything can change in this in this interview because babies. So yeah. let's start and we'll see how far we get. Yeah. Um, yeah, just the first general one is like, how are you doing? How's parenting life? Like, what's going on? What, what are some of the challenges? What are some of the joys? Like, tell me how it is. It's great. It's crazy. It's a, it's a kind of, the word I've used to describe it is intense, but that usually sounds negative. Like it's intense, but a positive intense. You just like, you have to be on all the time. It, even when people tell you beforehand, you don't really realize what on all the time means until like they're here and they're like, okay, now I understand. Like there is no downtime, but uh, they, oh, hold on. Okay. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> see, the other thing here as well is like we're on lockdown again and there's no visiting so like people aren't able to come and see her and we can't take her to see people so it's a bit mm -hmm. strange hopefully like that's going to start lifting pretty soon but yeah because we don't know if she's going to be like well i think she'll be okay she'll be sociable enough but she just hasn't seen any other like people other than us <laughs> That's kind of it, mostly. I totally agree. It's awful. We're actually maybe going into another lockdown today. They have to announce it on the news. So we've been on and off for a while. Um, but, I mean, the good thing is that we get lots of extra baby cuddles as parents. But I, I, I get it. Like, it's hard for them to not meet your family and friends. And we just kind of yeah. got to take it day by day. And Yeah, it's, it's, it's challenging. It's just, you know, that phrase they say about, like, it takes a village. But now we're not allowed to see the rest of the village. Like, we yeah. just have to, like... Stay away from it. No. Yeah, that's that's really hard. And I so I just I want to acknowledge that. Like I I I really truly know how hard being a new parent is and a pandemic makes it like so much worse. So I just like solidarity, I completely get it. And I'm sending you so much love because you are doing such an amazing job with a really hard situation. Um so I'm I'm with you from across the ocean. I'm with you. <laughs> mm. Absolutely. But the other side, and funny, we had just been talking about it before we came on, is that thing of we are able to give like 100% attention. Yeah. So we might as well just take advantage of that, you know, and yeah. you know, there's a positive out of it, I suppose. But it's just a pity yeah. that people don't get to see her, but they will do. I'm sure they'll see plenty of her in time. But yeah. So to kind of prep for this interview, I, I watched our last episode and I thought of some things that we talked about before and I wanted to ask your reflections now. Um, mm -hmm. So one thing you mentioned, uh, Paulrick, uh, was like, just not that you had fears per se, but just you were wondering like, you know, how will I pick up my baby and how will I do diapers and how will I find my cool ways? So I'd love to know, mm -hmm. how, how has that been for you? How do you pick up your baby? How are diapers? <laughs> What's the challenges been or has it been not too challenging? You can kind of just figure it out. You know, you just figure it out as you go along. But beforehand I was, yeah. Those are things I was like, how am I going to do this? But in fairness, she has adapted so quickly. Like, when I go to scoop her up, she clamps on my arm a bit. And she like, her core is going to be really strong because she like kind of goes round as I lift. So it's funny how quickly she was like, okay, this is the way I get picked up. Because you know, we have her on the floor a lot with like the play gym and different things. Yep. And it's hard to get down and pick her up. So. Sometimes they just have to go for like a big scoop. 
Yeah. Like she's her neck and all is strong, so it's not to say she's like flopping about. But I thought that at the start, I was like, she's going to be so delicate. Like, how are you going to move around? And then mm-hmm. just the person, they're just small, but like they're hardy. Know. Yeah, yeah. She's a lot hardier maybe than than I thought. <laughs> You know, that's so true and I, I completely agree, like Joven will now kind of clamp onto my left arm, you know, whenever I lift them up, it's it's so neat and and even putting on shirts and stuff, like she'll kind of push, push her left arm a little bit more than her right because that's the side that I don't, it's just like, it's so neat how they just get used to our bodies and yeah. um, and he, he sucks on my, on my stump quite a bit because it's very good for teething. So that's really right. cool. Yeah, my finger here has been like her new chew toy over the last couple of days. Oh, yeah. Once she found it then, because it like fits perfectly in her mouth. So, yeah. and then the, the only part that I was struggling with is, it's quite ticklish. <laughs> and I, I was like, I can't be laughing in her face because I don't want her to get a complex about it. So I have to like turn away and just let it work until it passes and then it's okay. But yeah. and. Like her favorite place to nap is like here on my arm. Mm-hmm. Then I can't do anything else. <laughs> just have to like, okay. That's so true. Like, do you find, um, because for me, when I'm holding Joven, like kind of holding Joven and, and trying to do other things, you know, my Allison can kind of do whatever because she has kind of a hand free. But when I'm holding Joven, it's like, oh, uh, okay, well, I'll just wait for you to bring me a drink then. Like, it's trickier to kind of grab other things. Do you find that challenging at all, or is it not too bad? It's just like even more so than I would normally have to. You kind of have to think in advance, like what do I need to get in the next couple of minutes, you know? I guess this is kind of a moot point, but one thing you talked about in our last interview was how, you know, when when we do stuff as folks with the limb difference, we often attract the attention of others because it's like kind of a unique thing. Um, and yeah. But it's maybe not the case in a pandemic. You haven't really been able to be out in the world as a parent with your baby, um, you know, to kind of to attract attention of others or have people ask you questions about parenting and stuff. Um, or have you had any interaction with the public and have they asked any questions about it or? Um, not really. I suppose it has been limited how much we've been able to get out and around. Um, like we were shopping one day but this is like six weeks ago so she was like really small then yeah. and uh i was putting her hat on and there's this old lady came up and she just saw the baby so she was like oh how is she getting on and then she saw my arm and she went you're doing great yourself and i was like thanks very much and then she just kind of walked off and i was like okay i don't i mean it wasn't a bad thing but it was it was funny how she she was like okay i have to acknowledge this now as well but i mean I was just putting a hat on, it wasn't such a big deal, but you know. Oh yeah. Oh that's that's so cute. That's so common too, I think. Oh, is that a good shoe? Does that feel good in your mouth? So last time Kelsey talked about a couple cool tools or um products that you might be like she was looking into potentially buying. Is there anything that you found that you've used out of the ordinary um in your parenting journey that's helped you or have you kind of just flown by the seat of your pants? <laughs> No, kind of just, you know, yeah, flown by the seat of her pants. Um, like, there is a like a carrier that I can wear to carry her, like, because you know, we've had it a few times, we've gone for like a walk in the park. Yeah. To or whatever. Um, she's still not that sure, like, Kelsey has two different wraps that she wears, mm-hmm. and she's 100% comfortable in those now because she's in them all the time. Yeah. But sometimes when she goes in mine, she gets a wee bit. But funny then on whatever at the weekend we had her out for a walk and she grabbed my hand when she was in it and then like for the whole hour then, you know, I'm not, I don't know if it was, it must have been helping her some way or other, but uh, it was nice that she was just, she was just there and then when she slept, she was still hanging on. Well, oh, that's quite nice, you know, because the one thing I do find is carrying her around, like this arm is getting tired quick. And she's not that heavy or anything, but it's just, you know, you feel like you're tense because you're like, well, I better not drop this baby. So, you know, and especially now as she's getting more mobile and active, mm-hmm. it's getting, you know, because her head's going the whole time and she wants to see everything. So mm-hmm. definitely have to have my wits about it. But we've kind of found our own way, you know, and like a lot of times I'll have her 
nearly sitting on my arm and then hold her kind of around the belly. Yeah. Nice. So that you can kind of sit up and see what's going on that way. And I mean, those things are probably all helping her strength as well without even really realizing it. But oh, yeah, we kind of just figured it out as we went along. It's probably the best way, really. Oh, yeah. And she started rolling now as well, which will be the next. Already? That's yeah. very early. Wow. Nice uh, oh, you don't like that anymore. Good job, sweetheart. Wow. That is wonderful. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's just, it's the weird thing, as you'll see yourself, like, by the hour, they're changing. <laughs> like, <laughs> you see, Wait, and then, like, what? <laughs> you, like, you didn't know how to do that last night. And then, like, once she's figured it out now, she just, as soon as you put her down, over she goes. Yeah. You know? It was one evening last week. We kind of let, because she was starting to grab her toes and stuff, so we thought she might want to try. Yeah. And she was attempting it on the carpet, and I was going into the kitchen to make tea, and I said, don't you dare roll over while I'm in the kitchen, because I didn't want to miss it. Yeah. And then as soon as I stepped back in the door, she just went over. Like, no. <laughs> what a good baby. Oh, I mean, Nappy change is quite exciting. Yeah, the nappy changing is getting... <laughs> How are those for both of you? Because like, no matter what, you know, yeah, that they can be. I, I find it, like I do them on the bed and I have at times, remember I talked to you about my friend who suggested, you know, to use my foot to hold Joven down. I actually mm -hmm. had to do that once because I, and it was my knee really. I was kind of holding onto one shoulder with my knee so I could kind of get the diaper up because like she's moving so much. It's hilarious. <laughs> Let's get your toy. Have you had to do any acrobatics like that? Um, not really, like, Kelsey does a lot of the changing down here on like, um, it's a footstool that goes along with her uh, rocking chair, but we have a changing table upstairs, so I would generally take her up to that because it's kind of, it's at a better height, I don't have to bend over as much, because the problem is like, you have to get, you have to get close to it to do it, so, yes. <laughs> you know. She so, saves all our best hoops for you. Yeah, generally, because like I'm working obviously Monday to Friday, so right. usually a Saturday morning is the morning she saves her. Her big <laughs> hoops for dad. When <laughs> um, you nose right in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. no, it's worked out. I mean, it's all those things, you know, probably the silly things that I was kind of worried about. Mm -hmm. It's just a practical thing then. And like, no, you just have to figured out but now the changing table is great but as again as she's starting to roll like can't really take uh right but that's got nothing to do with limb difference like that's just no funny. that's just baby <laughs> roll i totally agree that's for anybody just like ah <laughs> what do you think like now now that you are literally both parents and well we all are now um do you like what do you think about the value of these kinds of conversations and these types of videos um like putting them out into the world like what do this what does this kind of stuff mean for you and your family it's been great like we got a lot of reaction from people to the first video oh good from like family and friends and stuff i suppose didn't really know we had done it or anything like that but um it's great that, like, these kind of outlets you really like as much as you needed them for a long long time now they're really it's hard to put a value on them because like um Getting to talk to people and trying to figure out the problem is, you know, not a problem is a word like, but it's it's nice to have a, an outlet and like a resource and mm -hmm. you can see other people are, you know, at the same stage as you and you go, okay, mm -hmm. we're not going crazy. It's, you know, everyone's house is a bit like that, you know. Um, yeah. And like, I've been on a, like a monthly new dad Zoom as well, which has been great because Again, it's just to talk to people because you can't go out and talk to them, you know, meet up with people or there's no groups or anything like that. So it's all it's all through Zoom at the minute. But mm -hmm. I think anywhere you can like talk and share like ideas and that about it is great because the worst thing is to be sitting thinking, oh, I'm the only person that's having this mm -hmm. issue. And like, you're not really like, and... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Joven agrees. That's yeah. so true. Yeah, there's a beautiful there's there's a beautiful thing about shared experience, I think. Um, and especially I love how we have all had our like you, you and I, 
Um, we've had our babies around the same time, so it's really neat to uh, even just Kelsey and I chatting online before a bit about breastfeeding and you know some of the similar issues. Like it's it's just wonderful to have shared community, even when you're across the ocean. Um, it's uh, yeah, it makes you feel a lot less alone, which is important all the time, particularly in a pandemic, but um, yeah. all the it's time. Just, it's like I mean, our life was going to change anyway because we had a baby coming, but yeah. then everyone's life got changed and, uh, you know, everyone's kind of fine trying to figure out like how to get through things. But in fairness, the baby is a great distraction. Oh uh, gosh, yes. Because you know, um, yeah. at the time that she was born and for like sort of a month or two beforehand, a month or two after, mm -hmm. I was working from home. And then when I went back to the office, I was like, oh, that's right, there's a pandemic going on. Because all we talk about is the baby, you kind of forget that there's yeah. this whole other thing. I know that sounds a bit flippant, but Whoa. you know, your focus is so much on the baby all the time, you kind of forget like mm -hmm. there's this whole other thing going on out in the world, you know. We're very blessed, I think, to have this very welcome distraction. That does, it. Yeah. like our babies deserve all of our attention and it makes, that makes sense. So I've been, um, <laughs> yeah, we've been very lucky. Is there anything else you wanted to share uh, before we sign off right now? And I'm sure I'd love to talk to you again as our babies grow older, but um, yeah. any last words from you, Kelsey? Um, you're doing a fantastic job. We both are. And yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I want to tell you, Kelsey? What? You are a goddess. You, oh, you, you oh gave gosh. birth, you gave birth to a tiny human. You carried that baby for nine months and then you birthed that baby. Like that is a miracle. So just remember that you are a goddess and that you get to celebrate this um, beautiful gift that you've given the world and that you did one of the hardest things that any human can ever do because I've been there, I know. So yeah, you are a goddess and we are goddesses together. <laughs> I so wanted to um, make a cake, like how you made a cake for your oh. birth. <laughs> it went too fast. We ended up having to leave the house. I had ingredients bought and everything. I was like, I'm so looking forward to no. making a groaning cake, but it didn't end, unfortunately. She just came too quick for you, hey? Oh, well, we had to leave the house too quick. That was the problem. Baby number two, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold it off a little bit longer before I leave the house. <laughs> My water's broke and it surprised me. And then I rang maternity and they're like, you have to come in now. And I was like, oh, what? And then I ran downstairs to finish the birthing playlist because that was very important. Um, <laughs> and so I had to finish the birthing playlist before we left the house. You're amazing. And I'm, I'm just so glad you have each other. Um, like it's, yes Trovi I know it's one day at a time and you're doing so good and yeah thank you for for chatting again and for showing us your beautiful babe and um, oh, thank you very much yeah so much love to you and your beautiful family and thank you so much and we'll see you next time have a good one thank you very much bye, bye.